but do not kill! Management needs him alive! You guys are the worst! Either one, we're clear. Folks, here we are again. A major disaster in our city. Explosions, a bridge collapse, weapons discharged amid rush hour traffic. Thank heaven no lives were lost. But we can't be that lucky every time. What if this attack had happened a few days later, during the so-called storm of the century the five o'clock news won't stop jabbering about? From disaster to bedlam in a snap. Now there's plenty of blame to go around, including to these underground thugs. That being said, it'd be a dereliction of my duty if I didn't point out that the underground's attack was little more than an armored car heist until Spider-Man's bratty little sidekick showed up and tried to handle things all on his own. What happened next? He made things worse. This new kid wants to be Spider-Man? Well, he sure is living up to the name. Speaking of which, anyone notice that the original Spider-Man hasn't been seen lately? I think I know one. He's like the parent pretending that the kid melting down in the cereal aisle isn't there. But we know the apple doesn't fall far from the web. We know it. You're the apple, Spider-Man. Roxxon are fighting near innocent people. People will get hurt if I don't stop that shootout. Guys, guys, guys! How about we all agree you're both wrong? Orders are to eliminate! Yeah. <laughs> 
civilians are safe. Man, the underground and rock songs suck. Stand up a street and grabbed hostages.
In criminal news, sounds like there's a weapons deal happening near you. Parts. A fave. Why do I ever try me? Friends, today I'm gonna have to leave the discipline. Now because of Jared, he's actually doing a fine job for a change. No. I'm disappointed. And once again, some of you have allowed yourselves to be convinced that it's okay for a complete stranger with zero legal authority to parade around in a Halloween costume pretending to be some kind of savior. And once again, that misplaced faith has resulted in an unimaginable disaster. The truth is, it doesn't matter if he thinks Spider is. It doesn't even matter if he thinks it's good. What matters is that every time something gets destroyed in this city, he's there. Or now, his protege. Ask yourselves, with all these crises we faced, can we really afford to deal with twice as many? And where will it all end? Spider woman? Spider punk? Spider pig? Oh, while I vomit at that thought, enjoy these important messages from our fine sponsors. Oh. A friendly neighborhood user just spotted a weapons deal going down. 